After a long wait, it's finally time to look at a new purchase here at Retro Console Workshop, which is a computer that I find fascinating and have wanted to talk about ever since I bought it. This is the Macintosh Performer 630, released in July 1994. It was part of Apple's extensive Performer line, which aimed to bring Macintosh computing to a broader consumer audience. The Performer 630 in particular left a palpable mark on the era's technology landscape, showcasing Apple's commitment to simplicity and user-friendly design. At its core, the Macintosh Performer 630 is powered by the Motorola 68LC040 processor, running at a respectable 33 MHz. While this might seem modest by today's standards, it was more than enough processing power for its time. These computers also featured 4 MB of built-in RAM, which according to specs could be expanded up to 36 MB. And yet, somehow, this particular machine here has been beefed up to a whopping 40 MB. The same expansion overkill was done with the hard drive as well, which now features 2 GB. And I wouldn't be surprised to hear that this is enough storage for every single piece of Apple software available in 1994. Finally, we have a 14-inch color monitor with a resolution of 640 x 480 pixels, delivering crisp graphics and thus making it suitable for both productivity tasks and entertainment. Another notable feature of the Performer 630 was its inclusion of a double-speed CD-ROM drive, which was still relatively new at the time. This allowed users to explore the world of multimedia and access a growing library of CD-ROM software and, of course, games. The line also came with the Macintosh System 7 OS, which introduced a range of improvements and a more user-friendly interface compared to its predecessors. This operating system laid the foundation for the macOS people know and love today and offered features like the trash can, which allowed users to easily delete files, or the Apple menu for quick access to frequently used applications. Sure. These kind of things may nowadays seem like rudimentary stuff, but back in the day they stood for some truly groundbreaking innovations. In addition to all that I've mentioned so far, this particular system has been extensively curated by its first and only owner before me with custom designed buttons, an extendable quick launch taskbar at the bottom, and to its left, a so-called tile switcher to jump, or should I say switch, conveniently between running programs. And as if all of that weren't enough, there's a bunch of good old 90s free and shareware games, like a tongue-and-cheek centipede clone, neatly themed as a Star Wars game, comprising original soundtrack cues, sound effects, and quotes from the good movies. And that is my introductory presentation of this neat and, well, let's say relatively little machine. Because in its day, this design really was as compact as a powerful PC could be. And you can rest reassured that this isn't going to be the last time I will be featuring the Performer 630 on this channel. So, as always, stay tuned.